They say just last <coughs> week, Thiru Vignaraja went to Mayor Brandon Scott's team to offer his endorsement in exchange for a high-ranking position. They say that when Mayor Brandon Scott said no, he went to Sheila Dixon to cut a deal. As Thiru Vignaraja stumps for Sheila Dixon, claims of an endorsement for sale are surfacing. A senior campaign source from Mayor Brandon Scott's camp says Vignaraja also offered his endorsement to them. 11 News asked Vignaraja and Dixon directly if it's true. He says you last week offered in exchange for an endorsement to be police commissioner or CEO of city schools. They're saying this on the record. They said they sat down with, with you this morning and mayor said he absolutely cannot do that. He doesn't do backroom deals. What is your response? Um, the mayor manufactures facts and figures all the time. Uh, that is a remarkable recitation of a private conversation. Uh, this is the mayor being a child uh, and he's being petty and he should know better than to suggest that Sheila Dixon uh, or I uh, would do something that maybe he does with developers, but that certainly public servants and politicians don't do. Can you say you did not ask for his endorsement for these positions? I, I don't talk about private conversations with principals. I'm not just because he's breaking that rule for the purposes of struggling, uh, you know, trying to do a desperate last ditch attempt for his campaign. I'm not going to. Again, he's basically saying that through last week said, if you offer me his positions, I will offer you my endorsement. Did you receive anything along these lines with Theroux? Theroux and I had a personal conversation about a whole host of issues, particularly issues dealing with the crisis of this city of Baltimore and what we could do to move the city forward. That's been the extent of our conversation that we had. Now, Mayor Brandon Scott's campaign team also sent out a statement in response to Vignaraja's endorsement, stating, quote, Theroux's endorsement was for sale and Sheila Dixon was more than happy to buy it. We'd expect nothing less from Sheila Dixon, who has already proven time and again her personal interests outweigh all others, end quote. Early voting starts tomorrow. Live in Fells Point, I'm Tommy Clark, WBAL-TV 11 News.